how do you see the uh, nuclear energy development or nuclear missiles development? I am Philippe Lecomte. I am a nuclear physicist and uh, I was working at the Atomic Energy Commission in France. And uh, at the end of my career, I decided to take some care about waste management because I think that uh, waste, radioactive waste, are the major problem with uh, atomic <coughs> energy. It's not a big problem instantly because you just have to confine the waste as it comes out from the reactor and you keep it uh, with some uh, material, uh, lead or uh, concrete, and it doesn't harm. But the problem is that the confinement has to stay for extremely long time. So when you start a reactor somewhere, you start making uh, some kind of nuclei that are um, f f that are broken nuclei, and those broken nuclei are not in stable situations, so that they are emitting energy isotopes. Yeah, all the isotopes that are created by this breaking of the uranium atoms are coming. Uh, back to a situation where they are not in balance, they, they have too much energy and they have to remove this energy out of them uh, so that they emit radioactivity. And this may last for some few seconds, uh, for some, some years and for some hundred thousand years. And all these are there. So when you start a reactor, you have to promise that you will confine, you, you will keep close out of the biosphere all what has been produced by the reactor. That's mm. the, the great challenge, which to my point of view is not a challenge, it's impossible. You, I cannot think that somebody will promise for that this confinement will stay for such a long time as uh, 10,000 years or something like that. So that's the weak point of atomic energy. And that's why uh, after having worked with that, I've been really enthusiastic about all of this and the, even the possibility of having energy, I decided that we shouldn't go in this direction. But there are other reasons not to continue. The second reason is that the availability of uranium on Earth is not such a big availability. There are not so much. And the situation is comparable to oil hmm. and there is to the to the level of production of energy with atoms presently there is no more uranium than than there is oil for the other production of energy so th this will not last anyway yeah. forever the, some people are telling, oh yes, but we could use thorium. Hmm. And you may have heard about the research that India is doing about thorium, the thorium line. But this thorium is very, very long to get efficient, to, to become efficient. Because thorium itself is not fissile, cannot be broken. It has to be put inside an existing reactor and to swallow neutrons produced by the reactor to become uranium-233. And so that 
you need to have reactors to produce thorium. It is true that thorium will not produce as much uh, transuranium, the, the kind of, uh, uh, of nuclei that are he heavier than uranium. Because thorium is only 232 and it uses the, 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 the line uses uranium 233 and to become plutonium it has to swallow six neutrons and there is few possibility of swallowing so much uh, neutron so there will not be the, those plutonium which is the major problem uh, in uh, uh, waste management, plutonium. Uh, so there is not so much as we have presently with the present reactors. So thorium has this advantage, but it needs to produce enough uranium-233. You need to have normal reactor running about 50 years to create the amount of thorium of uranium 233 which could be cycling after that it's a question of creating the initial amount and so that uh, it's very difficult to pretend that thorium is a solution another problem is that the uranium 233 will be very radioactive with a very strong gamma ray and this gamma ray makes it very difficult to create the uh, the the fuel the, the fuel bars because it has to be completely automatic no man can stay uh, uh, besides uh, the the fuel so it has to be completely automatized so thorium solution uh, is more abundant than uranium you have more uh, you have more material uh, you, you find on earth more thorium than uranium mm. and so it's true that it could be last for very, very long it's true that it produces less transuranium but it is requiring uranium from earth coming for about 50 years so I think that uh, atomic power is a burden for the future re generation we use energy now and the future re generation will have to, uh, to, to to work with to to, to deal with the, the waste so we are giving the waste to the future generation and I don't like this uh, right now, we have seen many uh, nuclear power plant accidents yes. and uh, meltdowns and breakdowns and mm. those explosions. Mm. Uh, how do you think India is uh, having uh, acquiring more and more number of nuclear power plants? <coughs> the uh, Prime Minister and others, they have been hankering after these nuclear power. Mm. Recently, uh, our Prime Minister has visited Russia and uh, Japan to acquire more power plants, mm. nuclear power plants. What do you think about it? I think that accidents are very visible. So people are uh, immediately sensitive to what happens at that moment. A part of the territory, part of the land is uh, excluded from uh, living with there. And for Fukushima, it's terrible. You see the, the surface where nobody is al allowed to come and to live. Uh, it's really a big problem. If uh, such an accident was uh, happening uh, to a nuclear power plant close to Paris, Paris could not be uh, a place to live. If you, just, if you can imagine <laughs> that, it's horrible. The, if the wind is the, the direction that goes to Paris and so that uh, an accident goes there. So people say, okay, 
we learn from the accident and we correct uh, the situation. But uh, we are not. Uh, uh, in France, there have been two core melts. Two core melt. Uh, in USA, there has been Three Mile Island with uh, the core melt and the melting of the core. Uh, in this case, the people discovered that uh, there could be a, a driver for the, the nuclear reactor who could not know the work of a single valve. He, he had for, not forgotten how this valve was working. So everything was perfectly known and protected with many, many things. But this man didn't know. So he, he made the wrong decision and it, go, it went to the melting of the core. In, in uh, Chernobyl, the reactor was instable at low power and uh, an electric engineer wanted to, to make tests at low power. In, as he was coming from uh, uh, Moscow, and he was an authority, he said to the people, ah, why, I must go back to uh, Moscow uh, this afternoon, and we have to finish the test. Uh, and the, the reactor, the safety of the reactor was coming down, and, uh, cutting the reactor down and he said cut the safety so suppress the safety so it was well previous it has been well thought but it was not thought that an engineer with great authority was able to decide to cut the the, the safety system to, to destroy the safety system. And in Fukushima, uh, everything was perfect. But uh, the, it was not previous that there could be a, a, a terremoto, a tsunami. A tsunami. A tsunami at that high that could have. Uh, uh, Get into inside the. Destroyed plant. The, the, the system that uh, is. Uh, maintaining the water inside mm. the reactor. And you know, the problem with the accident is that every time the reactor stops, but when the reactor stops, there are all those broken nuclei that are extremely... Uh, uh, that are trying to, e to expel energy from them. It's very. Unstable. Uh, they, uh, they are. They are. They are. Many, many of them are trying to get more stable by uh, radiating out the energy. Radiating, yeah? and this produce uh, after uh, one hour still one tenth of the power mm. of the heat generated by the reactor. Only one tenth of the heat. So you go from nominal heat to one tenth. And about one month, you still have an enormous amount of power to remove. Otherwise, it melts. And so, they had no possibility to keep the system uh, cold enough so that uh, the reactor would not melt. How do you think uh, there is an increasing demand for energy? Yes. And, uh, and those uh, who are uh, vouching, uh, those who are uh, uh, willing to take up the nuclear power, they say that we need energy mm. uh, and uh, this is the cheapest mm. way. How do you see that? I see that the demand of Any energy... Any alternative that we can have or yeah. anything? The, the easiest way to increase the amount of available is in energy is to save energy. And we do very few. And why making so much more energy if we can save so much? That's the first thing. 
and you cannot imagine how much we can save. It's not somebody now speaks very often about uh, saving energy, but it doesn't go fast enough. It could be much faster. Uh, after that, uh, there are uh, many possibility to have energy without uh, oil and without uh, the um, uh, atom power, the nuclear power. This is possible. Okay. Thank you for this uh, interview. Mm -hmm. And um, we hope that someday we will be able to become free of these uh, harmful energy mm -hmm. requirements. Yeah, yeah.